everyone, Sherlock Phantom 1 here and welcome back. Today is the day. Today we will be comparing and discussing two of the best zombie movies out there. That's right, the Witches Better series is back, baby. And you all know how this works. There will be five rounds comparing themes and topics in the movie that I have rewatched and analyzed. And through each round we will crown a victor. And at the end of the video, the rounds will be tallied up and the winner will be revealed. Disclaimer, we are only discussing the topics and themes noted in the video and are not speculating on the quality or cult following of these films. Now with all that said, without further ado, let's begin with round one. Round one, we will be discussing the better survival group. Now, I think personally I prefer the Zombieland crew, and here's why. Because although Shaun of the Dead presents more realistic and flawed characters who are slowly losing their sense of humanity, the problem I have is that the flawed parts kind of seem to overweigh the good. Shaun and Ed are funny, but everyone else is pretty bland. Liz is your typical love interest, and David and Diane just kind of seem to get in the way. Whereas Barbara is mainly used to be the last tie in the bit of emotional strings Shaun has to reality. But in Zombieland, the characters, although they don't get along at first, grow to become likable people who are just making the best out of a bad situation. And because there is more time spent in Zombieland on seeing the characters interact and grow, it's more enjoyable to see them together. I think round one is going to have to go to Zombieland. Round number two is the better apocalyptic world, AKA the setting. As far as the United States or AKA Zombieland, one thing I do like that they show is the rapid spread and the falling into disarray of society. It seems to show a much larger scale of isolation for our main characters. Now what Shaun of the Dead does differently is the use of mixing current reality with the gray and dullness of London and honestly life itself. I love the look of London and the grayness that is worked into the drab and boring world that is put before us. And that even after the virus comes around full force, the world still seems to look just as boring and gray as before. And even the main characters take a little time to realize things are different. So honestly, as much as I love the scale of Zombieland, I think that I'm gonna have to give this one to Shaun of the Dead just for the creativity. Round two goes to Shaun of the Dead. Round number three, we will be discussing the better plan of action. Now this round is a little obvious, but let me tell you why it's obvious. As much as I love the idea of the theme park plan and the ending fight that takes place there, which we will discuss later, I also feel like it's a really dumb plan to begin with, at least in the mind of a sane person. Because the difference between a colorful, loud park versus a pub where you can barricade yourself in, have plenty of food and water and access to other exits, seems like a much better plan overall, even if the plan didn't go terribly well. But as far as the theme park plan, the only redeeming quality of the overall plan is that Tallahassee and Columbus came to the rescue and brought tons of ammo and lots of weapons. So with all that being said, I think this round goes to Shaun of the Dead. If not for the bronze, definitely for the brains. Now you can't have a zombie movie without, you guessed it, the zombies. So in round four, we will be discussing the main thread of these films. Mainly we will be looking at the good use of effects, makeup, and overall scare factor. Okay, so with Shaun of the Dead, the director and makeup artists do a really good job at making the zombies look like your average Joe classic zombies. And bonus points for including fans of the franchise and different various types of zombies in the film. I also love that we get continued zombie action throughout the film rather than just at the beginning and the end scenes. Which is actually one of my biggest problems with Zombieland, is the lack of actual zombies. I mean, we see them walk around and maybe interact once in a while, but for a zombie movie about zombies, we really don't see them a whole lot. This could be because, as I said before, Zombieland really focuses on the adventure itself and the character development as the journey continues. However, one thing Zombieland does better than Shaun of the Dead is the effects and the scare factor of the zombies. When I look at zombies, I like to see them as average people, like in Shaun of the Dead. But I also love the idea of them being ultimately scary to look at. I mean, it's a zombie movie, and we are talking about creatures that are scary and that are out for blood and flesh. Which is what I feel like Zombieland really captures with the zombies. With their rapid speed, aggressive behavior, and the overall fact that if you looked at one of these things, you'd run for the hills too. In this final round, we will be discussing the all-out war that happens between human and zombie. 
Shaun of the Dead has a lot happening in those last few minutes, with Barbara's death, David's death, and then the ambush happening, and Shaun having to face between the dilemma of having to choose between his best friend and saving Liz. And ultimately, luck and time runs out as Ed is bitten while defending himself, causing Shaun and Liz to take cover behind the bar that they soon set on fire to keep the not zombies at bay. But with all the chaos happening, the zombies will not stop, causing Shaun, Liz, and the now tattered up Ed to take coverage in the cellar as they sit and await ultimate doom, which they soon realize a way out. What I do appreciate about the bar scene is the chaos that ensues in just a matter of minutes, and the fact that Sean is torn between two worlds, trying to decide who to save first. But what I feel Zombieland does better, in my opinion, is keeping me as an audience member engaged and excited. I love that the theme park atmosphere is a final battlefield layout with Tallahassee taking on all the zombies at once, mixed with the intense music that rises as the girls struggle to survive, and Columbus races to the rescue. And I feel Columbus's character development as he takes on one of his biggest fears of both clowns and being the hero is such a good touch. All in all, I love both these movies and still consider both to be very enjoyable and very worthy of being in the top zombie movies. But sadly, we can't end on a tie, so without further ado, let's tally up those rounds and crown the winner. 